<laughs> it's a funny noise for a balloon. I agree. Normally we don't think of a balloon sounding very crunchy, maybe like crumpled paper, but it's getting so cold that my balloon isn't as flexible as normal. So it makes that kind of weird crunchy sound. Let's take that pancake out one more time here. <laughs> nice. Balloon pancake. And just like last time, we know that because all the air is still inside my balloon, as it warms back up, it's going to go It looks back. like a flat paper. It does look like a weird thick one, I agree. So as it warms up, it it's eventually like a kind of going back to its normal size. Look, it's you know, airing back up. It looks kind of weird, right? Okay. Should we do some more experiments with my liquid nitrogen? Yeah. Yes, okay. I'll put my balloon to the side for now, okay? And what I want to do next is I want to put this nice little ball into my liquid nitrogen. Okay? That is yellow ball. It's made of thin plastic. It's kind of squishy. It's the kind of ball you might find like in a ball pit at McDonald's or Chuck E. Cheese, right? And because it's made of very thin plastic... I've been to Chuck E. Cheese. You've been to Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah. So we, you might have seen something like this before, right? And because it's made of very thin plastic, it's very squishy. I can hit it pretty hard. That's going to bounce back to its normal shape because this ball has a property called elasticity, which means it can kind of squish and what? bounce back elasticity. to normal. Elasticity. <laughs> elasticity means it can squish and then bounce back to normal like seeing right here. Now what I want to do is I want to make it really, really cold. I'm going to put it into my liquid nitrogen. Oh. And I'm going to try and squish it just like we saw a second ago, okay? I'm going to get it really cold and I'm going to try and squish it again. Okay, is everybody ready? Yeah! Okay. Yeah. Then we're going to take a look at my ball. You ready? Three, two, what? one. <laughs> oh! <Whoa. laughs>